Hello everyone, my name is Ajmal Paktiawal from Afghanistan pursuing MTech in civil engineering with specialization in structural engineering. So today is our topic about the analyze and de design of the G plus 7 residential building against seismic load or earthquake. So today I want to discuss how to apply the seismic load, dead load and live load to my G plus 7 residential building and start pro. Before that I want to know the specification for my building. Analyze in design of residential building G plus 7 specification are listed below. The building is RCC building, reinforced concrete building. Size of beams is 0 0.7 and to 0 0.45 meter. Size of columns are 0 0.45 into 0 0.45 meter. Slab thickness is 15, 150 mm. Consider height of each floor are 3 meter. Material use are concrete, support are fax. So now, as we know that when we are going to, when we are required to analyze and design any type of structure first we are required to compute the load and start pro is only involving for the analyze and design of frame structure which contains of beams and column so for this purpose now i will start the load calculation the load calculation should be start from the dead load after that from the live load and the last the seismic load. For dead load, I use IS Indian Standard Code 875 Part 1. For live load, I use Indian Standard Code IS 875 Part 2. And for the seismic load, I used IS Indian Standard Code 1893 First, here I will compute first the dead load and then I will apply to the members by help of StatPro. The first dead load will be the self fit of the slab that is equal with thickness of the slab and density of concrete is equal with 3.75 kN to meter square and second dead load will be exterior wall uh, the wall load and I uh, categorize my wall into three different type exterior wall, partition wall and parapet wall. The thickness for the exterior wall is 0.35 for the partition is 0 0.2 meter and for the parapet is 0 0.2 again same as partition now the height I have considered 20 is here here and here these are the density of brick masonry 2.4 is the net height of the wall let to check how I got 2.45 the net height for the wall the total or the height of the each floor are 3 meter the total or the overall depth of the beam is 0 0.7 meter the thickness of the slab is uh, 150 mm which is included in this 0 0.7 so I require to deduct or minus 0 0.15 meter thickness of the slab from the overall depth of the beam we will get 0 0.55 meter 0 0.55 meter I will deduct or uh, minus from 3 meter which is the overall height of the floor then we will get uh, 2.45 the net height of the wall multiply this we will get 17.15 same for the partition 9 painted and same for the parapet wall 6 so what is to here that I added to the exterior partition and parapet wall the, uh, this wall should be paved by plaster for both the phases so the thickness for plus I have considered is 2 cm which is 0 0.02 meter and to height net height of the wall 2.45 and to length for one length we are required to compute all the loads design and analyze and 1 8 which is 18 is the density of martyr 2 I multiplied because for two phase I require to know the unit the self fit of the plaster for both the phases is equal with 2 kN per meter so I added to this I got 19.15 19 for the partition I plus I added 2 which is equal with 11.8 and 
and also for to I add it with a parapet wall which is equal with it. The dead load is now completed. Now I will come to the live load. In the case of live load, live load I have considered IS Indian standard code 875 part 2. The live load for all the floor except the last floor which is name which we, which easily we can say the roof I have considered 4 kN per meter square as per IS standard code 875 part 2 and the roof live load I have considered 2 kN per meter square now we will come to the seismic load the seismic load I use IS standard IS standard Indian code 1893-2005 revised in this code we can analyze any type of vertical structure by three methods. One is equivalent static method, second is lump mass model method, response spectrum method. In this particular example, I have considered equivalent static method. In the equivalent static method, we will the system will give us the design seismic base shear. And for getting the design seismic base shear we are required to know about the value of ah which is average response acceleration coefficient and w which is the total seismic weight of the building and is equal with dilute plus 15 percent of the live load now why i brought reduction in the case of live load because as per is as earlier i discussed about it as per uh, is 875 part 2 when the intensity of the imposed load or the live load is greater than 3 kN per square meter then we are required to bring reduction for live load by 50 percent when the intensity of the imposed or live load is less than 3 kN per square meter then we are required to bring the reduction in the case of live load by 25 percent so i consider 4 kN per meter square as per is 875 part 2 i required to bring reduction for live load or imposed load by 50 percent so this we did for the total dead load we have did here and for the live load i mentioned you that i have considered for all the roof except the last 4 kN for the for the roof I have considered 2 kN per square meter now I require to find the AH value the AH value will be determined by system except uh, let to see first the AH H is equal to Z upon 2 into I upon R into S A upon G AH is average response acceleration coefficient I is important Z is uh, the zone factor which the India as per IS 1893-2005 code the India divided into 4 region means zone 2 start from 2 zone 2 4 3 and 5 zone 2 is having of intensity 0 0.1 zone 3 is having the intensity of 0 0.16 and zone 4 is having the intensity of 0 0.36 i is the importance factor which is uh, depend on uh, which is related to the importance of the factor for important factor such as school residential building dams etc etc as per uh, for getting more information refer to that related code we will take the uh, factor for the importance 1.5 for any other uh, structure building we will consider 1 in this case I will consider 1.5 zone factor I earlier mentioned you R is response reduction factor that depend on the type of the structure and uh, that we will see after SA upon G is design acceleration spectrum for the system we are only required to take to to compute the value for the fundamental period of vibration which is ta and is equal with 0.09 h divided by square root of d what is ta t is the fundamental time per, uh, period of vibration of the building h is the total height of the building square root of d d is the base either length or width of the plan of the building so in this case my building is 8 story the, the the height for each story is 3 meter so i will multiply it with 24 this is the coefficient divided by square root of 10 then i will get 0 0.68 now we will start the calculation 
open start pro yeah new project click on space give the file name analyze this and design of residential building g plus 7 length for the unit unit for the length will be meter and unit for the force will be kilonewton which is already selected in default from the system go next added beam should be clicked finish so the first thing I want to follow the first step will be the creation of the model for creation of model come to the edit and click the XZ plane so start from the origin Okay, now my plan is completed and click default grid so I'm going to give the height to the my to my building select all the plan of the building go to translation repeat global direction in y direction number of story it height of for the each story will be 3 meter click on the length step to link all the step okay the base of my building should be open so here is close I will delete them delete it the second step I will define the property and the size for my members so go to general click on define rectangular the first will be for the beam this is the dimension which we discuss it in the word file add for the column will be materials or concrete add now I will assign these property and dimension to the related members first I will start from the beam select the beam dimension come to select menu beams parallel to X again beams parallel to Z now in X and Z direction all the beams are selected assign to the selected beam assign yes now I will assign the dimension and property to the columns assign okay in the third step I will create the support and will assign to the member to the building add select the support select the front view select the base of this building assign to the selected node assign yes now we will see in the perspective view whether it has been applied or not yeah it has assigned now in this step I will come to the and the first step I will go for the load and definition and the load of definition in the load and definition uh, be careful that in when are you going to analyze and design the any type of structure for the seismic the first thing we will follow for the loading definition the start pro where it i version will be the definition for the seismic after that we will go for the dead and live load and roof load respectively click on the loading definition loading definition seismic definition should be first in the priority art here I will introduce the system IS Indian standard code 1893 2002 2005 I will select click on the generate here here is zone factor zone factor is based on the two method one is city wise and secondly is zone wise if you know the city then you can see all the city which are in India and here Dehradun, Gangkok, Gaya, Goa no I will go for the zone wise select the zone I will select zone 5 this is special RC moment resistant frame SMRF SMRF is a building uh, is a frame system which can be designed as a ductile, ductile member as per IS 13920 so I am considering 
एस एम आर एफ नॉट ओ एम आर एफ स्पेशल आर सी मोमेंट रेजिस्टेंट फ्रेम जनरल आर जनरल टाइप ऑफ सोइल इज मीडियम आर सी फ्रेम बिल्डिंग डंपिंग रेशियो शुड भी फाइव परसेंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पीरियड एंड नेक्स वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दिस वाली वी विल पोर्टेड हेयर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट ना वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द डिफिनेशन फॉर द सिजमिक क्लिक ऑन द जनरेट क्लिक ऑन द एड टू एड टू द सिस्टम नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग आई विल एड द सेल्फ फिट ऑफ द मेम्बर्स बिकॉज डेड लोड प्लस फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द लाइफ लोड हियर आई विल डिफाइन ऑल दिस पैरामीटर एड एड हियर आफ्टर दिस विल कम टू द फ्लोर वेट विच इज द वेट ऑफ द फ्लोर एट सेल्फ स्लब एट सेल्फ थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव डिफाइन इन वाइड डायरेक्शन शुड बी स्टार्ट फ्राम द फर्स्ट फ्लोर थ्री मीटर टू द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर एड द सेकेंड वन विल बी द लाइफ लोड आई मैं यू दैट वी हैव कंसिडर फोर किलोमीटर बट हियर आई विल ब्रिंग रिडक्शन एज पर आई एस स्टैंडर्ड कोड बाई फिफ्टी परसेंट सो आई विल राइट हियर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द फ्लोर इज टू हियर फ्राम थ्री अप टू ट्वेंटी वन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गिव द लाइव लोड फॉर द रूफ फॉर द रस एट आई विल गो टू द मेम्बर लोड विच आर द सेल्फिट ऑफ द बीम ऑफ द वॉल्स दैट शुड बी एन यूडियल यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड फर्स्ट वन इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट वन फाइव फॉर द एक्सटीरियर वॉल एलेवन पॉइंट एट फॉर द मिड वॉल और इंटीरियर एंड एट फॉर द रूफ पारापेट वॉल एंड नाउ लोड सिजमिक डेफिनेशन इज कंप्लीटेड एक्सेप्ट दिस थ्री पारामीटर विच इज रिलेटेड टू द वॉल लोड एक्सटीरियर मेड एंड पारापेट दिस विल डिफाइन आफ्टर लोड केस डिटेल नाउ आई विल गो फॉर द लोड केस डिटेल सिलेक्ट ऑन द लोड केस डिटेल एंड सिलेक्ट सेजमिक एयर ए क्यू एक्स इन द एक्स डायरेक्शन ए क्यू जाइट द डायरेक्शन एयर डेड लोड डेड लोड अगेन लाइव लोड लाइव लोड रूफ लाइव रूफ लाइव लोड एड क्लोज सो नाउ आई विल सेलेक्ट ऑन द एर्थ वेक अलॉन्ग द एक्स डायरेक्शन एड एम हियर टू द सिजमिक लोड डायरेक्शन शुड भी एक्स फैक्टर शुड भी वन बिकॉज देर वी आर नॉट कंसिडर वी डिड नॉट कंसिडर माइनस साइन एड क्लोज सेलेक्ट ऑन द ई क्यू जेड एड सिजमिक लोड z डायरेक्शन टोर शूज भी अगेन वन प्लस नाउ आई विल कम टू द डेड लोड सिजमिक डिफिनेशन हैज बिन कम्प्लीटेड सेलेक्ट द डेड लोड एड द फर्स्ट विल गो फॉर द फ्लोर लोड द साइन शूज भी माइनस बिकॉज दिज आर ऑल ग्रेविटी लोड थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव ग्लोबल वाई डायरेक्शन शूज भी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थ्री टू ट्वेंटी फोर एड Now I will come to the dead load. Oh, so sorry. We'll delete it again. All things should be in arrangement. Again, we will select the dead load. Add the first should be self fit. Add after that should be floor load. Minus three point seven five from three to twenty four. Add. Now I will come to the member load, which are the sulfate of the walls, minus nineteen point one five, add minus eleven point eight, add minus eight, add. Now we completed the dead load. Now we will assign to the members. Sulfate should be for the beam and column. We'll assign to you. Assign yes. This load, which is related to the exterior wall, for this purpose, will come to the front view. I will assign all below the roof loads. Okay, here 
come to the top view select the exterior one this should be added below the roof because in the roof we don't have exterior one except the parapet one we will see whether we select all the beam or not we will come to and see in the isometric view check all selected assign to the selected beam yes now it's assigned now i will come to the intermediate or interior one again go to the top view select the intermediate or interior one with the load transfer from the wall to the beam Save. again we'll check in the isometric view whether it has taken or not yes all the selected assign to the selected beam assign yes whole structure okay now i am going to apply or assign this load to the roof which is parapet wall select i'll select the roof plan here yeah. go to this material yeah. top and these are exterior for the parapet I will assign yes whole structure now I assigned all the load to the to the structure so click on this load click on the assign to edit list select all this coordinate control C pasted here control V assign for this we will come to this control A, A Control C here, Control V assign, come to this, Control C here, Control V assign, yes. Now seismic dead load is all completed. Now we will come to the live load. Select on live load, add live load in case of the floor load. First one will be 1 minus 4 from 3 from first floor to the second last floor which will be 21 heart close roof live load heart that should be also same as the live load minus 2 from 22 to 24 only for the last floor for the roof heart close now we have completed the load case detail and load in definition for the seismic now I will come to the last step which is the analyze part analyze print add close analyze run save ok here we will check no error we are having except one warning and one not that I will let you know in my next videos but here that warning and note is not that much important and will not affect my design in analyze part so come to the go to processing mode done here we will select apply ok now in this windows in the process processing we will see and will check the support reactions reaction for the support deflection uh, bending moment and the z axis and all the shift force so bending moment control press control and scroll up and down here we will come to the support reaction reaction all are this reaction now this reaction can and you can see here okay now we will come to again to the modeling and this in the sixth or fifth part now I will go for the load combination load combination when I want to design and analyze any type of structure I require to go for the load combination as I am apply applying the seismic load 
analyze and design such a structure so I require to see and check the load combination in the case of seismic I will come to the word file in the limit state design of reinforce and priest this concrete structure the following load combination shall be accounted for the analyze and design of the structure the residential building this fourth type load combination we are required to put in the system first one is 1.5 dead load plus imposed load or live load 1.2 dead load plus imposed load plus minus earthquake load along the x and z direction 1.5 dead load plus minus earthquake load along the x and z direction 0.9 dead load plus minus 1.5 earthquake load along the x and z direction so i will go through this load combination and will define to the stat to calculate accordingly minimize so go to general load in definition definition no so sorry not definition load is detail come to the add and here we will see primary load generation define combination add load combination we will go for manual load combination if you want to let the software that go for the company combination by automatic system so the system will take automatically so I am not going for that for the add load combination I am going to manually define my load combination here I will write 1.5 dead load plus live load here I will select here I will write the default factor 1.5 select dead load plus live load 1.5 for the dead load 1.5 for the live load at second is 1.2 dead load plus live load plus eq x in the x direction so you follow me i will do all the load combination dead load should be 1.2 sin is plus sin is plus only eqx is minus So we have completed the load combination for the design of the 
frame structure these load combination are related to the design of beam and columns so simultaneously I want to uh, define the load combination for the foundation design also let to check this load combination for was for the uh, frame structure and this for the design of foundation dead loads plus live load dead loads plus 7, uh, 0 0.5 live load plus minus eq earthquake and x and z direction dead load plus minus eq x z 0 0.5 means 50 percent of the live load as per is 1893 will consider because the live load intensity or the imposed load is more than 4 kN per square meter so I will define this load combination for the design of my foundation ok again dead load plus live load coefficient is 1 this should be 1 okay this combination also completed just will bring some correction here I went wrong close I'll find my dead load plus dead load plus percent dead load okay these are right I did not went wrong go wrong so now I will analyze at close run analyze save we'll see whether we we are right or wrong in this case we'll go for the analyze okay there is no error view output file done here warning is I uh, will discuss that later these are not that much important okay in this case now I'm going to go for the frame design before I start the frame design means the design for the del, uh, for the beam and column we have completed now the analysis now I will go for the design of frame earlier I defined the load combination for both the frame and the foundation so I will deactivate the load combination for the foundation how we can do that go to the study data we will find here the load combination related to the frame and foundation load combination ok these load combinations are we started from yeah load combination number 15 for dead load plus live load and 
below this are related to the foundation up to here load combination these are all related to the frame so I will keep them before keeping I will enter I will write here that for my understanding not become confused I will write here some note load combination for frame design deactivate will mm, no combination and find also the load combination for the foundation here combination for foundation deactivate I will deactivate this combination because now I'm going to go for the design of frame so I will deactivate the load combination for the foundation okay save close okay now I'm going to start the design first I will click on the design tab concrete design here I will introduce the code IS456 IS456 first I will come here define parameter I'll come to the clear the clear cover I am giving to the beam 25 centimeter 0 0.025 meter for the column should be 4 centimeter 0 0.04 meter uh, FC compressive strain of the concrete should be 30,000 kilonewton per meter square hard yield strength of main reinforcement still 415 for secondary reinforcement 415 maximum main dia of the bar 25 I am considering maximum secondary 16 ratio okay this ratio maximum percentage of longitude and reinforcement allowed I am introducing this ratio for the column as per IS 456 the ratio for the reinforcement in the case of column should be in the limit of 0.6 to 0.8% uh, to 6% so 4 is okay okay close now I will assign the, them respectively I will assign this clear cover to the beam only assign to selected beam plates this I will assign to the column only this will I assign to the whole structure this concrete will work for all the members assigned to you same for the steel steel reinforcement dial this I will assign for the column ratio of the reinforcement 4% by cross section area of the column here I will select command as earlier I mentioned you that the strut is only design beam in column actually so for the frame design beam art design column art take off art why I added take off because take off can give us the volume for reinforcement and concrete design beam select parallel to X and parallel to Z Send selected beam, yes, column parallel to Y, send selected beams, yes, 
okay now we will uh, analyze print no print add close analyze run analyze save okay <clears throat> okay here I don't have any error except one note and 45 warning let to check the warning what are these warning came from select the view output file okay warning okay all the warning these two warning was from the previous the other the rest below warning are will check warning reinforcement percentage exceed maximum value maximum limit I told you that as per IS 456 the percentage of the reinforcement should be from 0 0.8 to 6 percent I have considered 4 percent why this problem occur when we face this problem how we can nullify how we can improve our design we will change the dimension of the column I have selected 45 by 45 centimeter here I will go for the increment of the dimension close it general loading uh, general property here I will increase edit size of column I will take 50 by 50 because concrete is less compared to the percentage of the reinforcement if you take the the cross-sectional area of the concrete like suppose for 45 45 uh, 450 and 450 equal with 202500 this is the mm square the cross-section area of the steel of the concrete if I take 4 percent that will be equal with 8100 will be the reinforcement cross-section area it means that we are required to go for further increment increment regarding the size of the column change yes close now we'll check analyze whether I'm getting the same warning or how okay previously it was 45 now it became less 17 warning again we can do that but it depend on the experience practical experience before starting just I'm letting uh, let you know how to define it this is the way let to check 55 change yes close again analyze analyze save previously it was 17 now we will see whether it changed or not it comes to 6 maybe 6 member more we are required to bring changes this I will go also for 55 because the column and the beam should be 70 that's right this i will go for 55 to match with the column size change yes close analyze or analyze save previously it was 17 or 6 okay it's again 6 so i will give 16 i'm going to let you know how to do it column six by six because it's it's to building it should be like that more than that yeah. analyze run analyze save okay your tool file that too warning was from the previous I told you that I will let you know in my next videos so we have nullify all the 
warning relative to the percentage of reinforcement which was exceed the limit now we are within a limit close okay i have completed the design and analyze for the frame structure which contain of beam and column now in order to know more deeply and check the reinforcement for the beam and column double click on the members and see if there you see if there appear the tub of con with concrete design it means that your this particular member which you selected is not failed if this uh, concrete design tub not appear it means that your member is failed and that fail you will get in the warning tub but here we, we, this member is not failed concrete these are the reinforcement for further clarification you can check and see it now I am going to go for the design of foundation so again I have designed the frame now I want to design the foundation again I will come to the study data and deactivate the load combination for the foundation deactivate yeah now it's deactivated this is the title it should be deactivated to not behave and this i will deactivate i activate it for the foundation and deactivate for the frame because we did the frame design now save it close it now i will go to the run analyze to refresh the system in analyze and Post processing will apply all the load combination except these four titles. Now, this all relate to the foundation. Apply K. Now, I'll come to the foundation design tab selector. In this case, first I'm going to use all support. All this support I am going to design as a isolated foundation. Now I will start with the isolated foundation. In next videos I will go more for other type of foundation. Use all supports here. Dead load. Live load. These are all related to the load combination for the foundation. Select. Come down a little bit. Select. Include. Here I will run start foundation. Run this windows related to the start foundation. With it I will open. Now here I have three main menu. One is in my right side. These are all information related to the foundation. One is in my left side. And at the middle, this is the windows for all the foundation these are the column loads which these are all the transferred load which transfer to the column and these are the bending moment now I want to design all my support as a isolated footing I will come to the job setup create new job here I will give the name I will write here isolated here isolated already selected this is the design code will be is indian default in it will be si okay now i will these are available load cases it should be come down now create job here job is created select on it design parameter isolated footing job is created design parameter here are 1 2 3 4 5 first we will start from the number 1 concrete and rebar
concrete and rebar in my right side data input pan is here pan is here so here we will see unit width of the concrete is 25 kN per cubic meter minimum bar spacing is 50 mm selected maximum bar spacing 500 even you can change it depend on your practical experience strength of concrete is 25 yields strength of the steel is minimum bar size we can reduce it up to 16 or 12 maximum bar size 32 okay now we'll come to the cover in soil soil type drain condition or undrain we'll select as drain condition bottom clear cover uh, always we are selected bottom clear cover for the foundation 50 mm which is 5 cm unit width of the soil is 22 mm you can change it depend on the soil condition here the system considered already 22 you can bring changes as you wish soil bearing capacity here here is 100 kilonewton per square meter which is weak soil we'll consider 180 a1 200 250 this information we can get from the soil investigation department depth of soil above the foundation if you have suppose i am considering 1.5 meter depth of soil above the foundation surcharge for loading i am not having this type of data depth of water table water table it depend on the site you can get this value from the hydraulic department uh, from the soil investigation department cohesionless and bench shear strength minimum percentage of the contact area so now we will come to the floating geometry floating geometry floating type uniform thickness means from start to end the thickness should be in the same dimension if you want to bring them changes from start is sloped it will come to the slope is rated floating type so i'm looking for the uniform thickness design type calculate dimension as per as per your you want to fix width and length once you fix the length the width will be calculated by the system and once you fix the width the length will be calculated from the system so i will calculate in dimensions it will it is based on the system the system will consider the length and width minimum length will be thousand minimum width will be thousand minimum thickness of the foundation is uh, 30.5 centimeter or 305 mm uh, maximum length is 12,000 which is 12 meter it is quite much more here we will consider 5,000 uh, maximum width again for 6,000 it's also more but for example you can bring changes and you will get more information in your, by your own studies maximum thickness should be yeah then dimension all this information now I will come sliding and overturning moment coefficient of friction is 0 0.5 factor of safety against sliding is 1.5 and uh, factor of safety against the overturning now I will go for the design design yes okay okay now the design is completed for the is ready footing here this is start pitch this is geometry this is detail and scheduling this is drawing drawing we'll check here foundation number 17 4.2 4.2 0 0.5 this is length and width this is thickness of the foundation here is column number 7 the load transfer from column number 7 to foundation number 17 and this is the layered plan of my foundation this is column here we'll check the calculation sheet we have 16 foundation you can check click on this this is this is schedule floating number 1 2 3 4 5 up to 16 these are group ID, length, width, thickness. You can check here. This is the information related to the bar 12 mm at the rate of 100 mm center to center distance. You can increase by 200 mm and then respectively you are supposed to 
required to increase the dia by 24 this is the plan this section alert information design type calculation dimension footing thickness footing length footing width eccentricity along the x coordinate eccentricity along the z coordinate these are the information you can check it these are the graph is not available here okay calculation sheet we checked check this we checked okay thank you very much for your attention in the next in my next videos i will discuss how to design strip or combined footing how to design pile cup and design for the mud or rough foundation thanks again bye bye